Starting off this bulletin with some breaking news that's coming in from Pakistan and this is a CNN News 18 exclusive news break. Now CNN News 18 has accessed video of an ancient Hindu temple in Karachi's Soldier Bazaar being demolished by an unknown builder. Now this was demolished on Friday midnight to make way for a shopping plaza. In the midnight, police officials also came with the builder and supported the demolition. Now, CNN News 18 has constantly reported about minority operation in Pakistan and now even Hindu properties are being sold. So we are getting you this breaking news from Pakistan. This is a CNN News 18 exclusive news break. Now, CNN News 18 has accessed a video of an ancient Hindu temple in Karachi soldier bazaar being demolished by an unknown builder. We have CNN News 18, Anand Narsimhan joining us on the story. Anand, a very good morning to you. Could you tell us more about this temple which was demolished in Karachi? Well, good morning to our viewers, but uh, not a very good morning for uh, minorities in Pakistan, especially the Hindu community which continues to see itself being targeted. These are visuals accessed by our group editor security, that is uh, Manuj Gupta. These, uh, this happened late on a Friday night. Now, what we're given to understand is that this is the ancient Mari Mata temple, which is managed by the Madrasi Hindu community. That's what the dawn reports. The Madrasi Hindu community was managing it for more than 150 years. It's a 150-year-old temple. Dates back to further than that, they're, 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 they're given to understand. In the dead of the night on Friday, when there was no, there was, they actually uh, power cut in that entire region. Nobody knew what was happening, and suddenly uh, the structure came crashing down. And it is also, it is also, and and uh, we are given to understand that there was also police cover that was given. There was a police mobile van also that gave cover. The bulldozers came, raised the structure altogether, except uh, leaving the outer walls and the main gate of the temple intact. Now there are two individuals who have been named by Pakistani news reports who are. Uh, who were actually pressurizing and who had, and they're part of the local mafia, which had their eyes on this property for a while. In fact, uh, given the, uh, citing the fact that the building would needed repair or the temple structure needed repair and it was in dilapidated condition, the priests and the managing, the trustees were forced to even remove the deities. Uh, sometime back, they were asked to remove the deities from that structure, to, uh, move the deities, shift the deities to a small room next to a storm drain. Uh, citing the fact that this place has to go under renovation and there were some uh, various uh, claims that were made. Along with that, uh, the names of two people have now come to the fore uh, as who have seemed to have engineered this entire uh, destruction of the temple and they have see, reportedly sold it off to another third entity for nearly 7 crore rupees, this entire plot, for a shopping mall to come. So this under the guise of renovation restructure, they first get the deity shifted out then in the dead of the night, without informing anybody, they just raised and totally demolished the entire structure. A 150-year-old Mari Mata temple, uh, which has been now raised, this was managed by the Madrasi Hindu community there. They have moved uh, the, the local trustees, and none of them have come forth to speak, but we are given to understand they have uh, sent in a request uh, to the Inspector General of Sindh and also to the Minorities Minister in Pakistan to try and immediately take cognizance and stop any further construction and ensure that a temple is rebuilt there. Now, that is what has been uh, urged and asked of, but this is one of the many hundreds of temples that have been grabbed and then destroyed or usurped and taken and replaced with structures, uh, either like shopping malls or perhaps even other structures uh, like common utility, public toilets, etc., or, uh, or, or just individual homes. And this has happened across Pakistan. So this is just one of the many more instances that have now come to fore. Right. Thank you so much, Anand, for giving us all those details.